What three things could you start doing today that will make your artwork better? Hang around to find out. Hey guys, Cody here with Fount Atelier, and today I want to count down my top three things you can start doing this week to improve your art fast. As I share my tips, feel free to leave a comment below with your own advice. Let's make this a helpful resource. As an instructor, a lot of times I see beginner to intermediate level artists get to a certain level of skill development only to hit a plateau where it feels like no matter how much you draw or paint, you just don't seem to get any better. This is a common issue and something everyone will deal with at one time or another, including myself. That being said, there are some things I've learned that can help you bust through that plateau and get back onto the path to improvement. Starting the countdown, my number three tip to improve your work quickly is to have a sketchbook and actually use it. Now you might say, well, duh, that's a no-brainer, but think about it. If you already have a sketchbook, do you use it consistently? Are you filling the pages or do you fill out about five of them and then it sits on a shelf or in a pile for six months? A sketchbook should be like a playground or a practice field. It's where you hone your skills. Remember, the stuff you do in your sketchbook doesn't need to be shown to anybody. Set aside a certain amount of time each day to be in your sketchbook. Maybe it's just five minutes, maybe it's 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be much. When can you be most consistent? Is it in the morning with a cup of coffee, right before you go to bed, during your lunch break at work? If you're like me, the hardest thing to do is to just get started. Once I'm off and going, I'll get in the zone and usually sketch way past my time limit. If you don't have a sketchbook, then get one. Get something small that you can keep in a convenient spot so it's always close by. Tip number two, find your sweet spot. What do I mean by sweet spot? Well, most of the time, we like to draw or paint the same things over and over. As you'd expect, we start to get really good at these things and subjects, so we keep doing them, developing a comfort zone. The problem is that once we're comfortable, we don't really venture out of that zone too often because we don't want to fail or make bad work. An example of this might be someone who just draws the same eye over and over and over again, or flowers, or dogs, or that sunset, you name it. That's fine, except you aren't going to see much improvement drawing or painting anything else. On the flip side, if you are always trying to draw and paint super complex, hard subject matter, you might set yourself up for frustration and burnout. Because your work is so complicated, you might feel like you'll just never get it right and beat yourself up. Most of the time, this repeated frustration will just manifest a negative mindset and you'll convince yourself that you're just no good and you'll eventually quit. Let's try to visualize this. If the area within this circle represents your comfort zone and the area outside of this circle represents, let's call it the zone of frustration, you'll want to be right here. This is the sweet spot. In the sweet spot, you are getting outside of your comfort zone and pushing yourself, but not to the point of frustration and getting overwhelmed. This is where growth occurs. So think about it. What subject matter gets you in your sweet spot and just hang out there? Don't get stuck in your comfort zone. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, do me a favor and give it a like. I'd also really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. It's an easy, free way to support my studio while also making sure you don't miss helpful art content like this in the future. All right, time for my number one tip to improve your artwork quickly. Get some quality outside feedback. Working on your art is often an isolated experience. If you're in the learning process, which let's be honest, we all really are, it can be hard to see what needs to be fixed in our work. We look at it for so long, simple mistakes just become invisible. We don't know what we don't know. A friend or family member who you trust can give you some feedback, especially regarding proportional issues in a drawing. It doesn't take special training for a fresh eye to notice an area that looks a little funny, even if they can't really tell you how to fix it. 
However, the downside to friends and family are that they can be a little too kind sometimes, telling you, oh, everything looks great, so they don't hurt your feelings. On the flip side, they could also focus in on the problem areas uh, with every comment just being a criticism, making you feel like you're just no good and you're just being judged by them. In a perfect world, it's best to find a person who is more experienced than you in art and who is also willing to give you some honest but constructive feedback. Not only tell you what to fix, but tell you how to go about fixing it. Maybe there's a local art group in your community that you can look to for a mentor or you know an artist who can help. If you feel like you're stuck, I'd love to help you out personally myself. I have an online art coaching program that is designed to do just that. I meet one-on-one -on -one with each mentee every month online via Zoom, and we put together a plan for success. We set goals, I provide feedback on work, and we talk about ideas. Throughout the month, I'm available to answer questions and can give virtual critiques on your work. If you want to learn more about this program, check out the link in the description to set up a free introductory coaching session. I'd love to meet you. Feel free to also check out this quick overview of the online art coaching program to see how it works. Regardless, I hope you found these three tips helpful and you can put them in action this week to take your work to the next level. Until next time.